Structural Type Swapping with ID8 BinLink. The concept of type swapping was introduced to BIMLINK for ver versions 2013, 2014, and now 2015 uh, back in December of 2013. In this, in this video, we'll take a look at how you could use type swapping in a structural process. Here we've got a model. It's the schematic design phase of the model and we're going to export out all the instances of, in this case, the, the structural columns. The key part of this process is that we're using the family and type field. And you can see here we're using some out-of-the-box links, one for the instances and another one, which we're looking at right now, for the types. Um, so what we're doing is we're going to have an Excel file which has both of these links exported to it. The first one again is called swap. That's that's the type or excuse me, the instance based data. And then secondly, we're going to export out the type based data to the same file. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a named list within the Excel file that we can choose from. So in the Excel file here when we, as we look at it, the swap list and the column type as separate tabs. Um, the type data is what we're uh, referring to here in this drop-down list. It, if you haven't sorted it within BIMLINK, which you can now do, uh, all you need to do is come back to the column type tab, as we're showing here, and sort it by the family and type. So once it's sorted then, you'd have a list. These are all the types that have been defined in that Revit file. And so you could go through, if you had your analysis done um, after your schematic column grids are sort of laid out, you could just substitute those columns uh, with anything that's listed on there or that exists within the project. Um, and the benefit, of course, would be that somebody who doesn't know Revit could could take this task on. So here we are, we're going to import a list of columns where they've all been modified, and we'll see that it's going to update the project. This may take a second here, and you get the feedback, of course, from BIMLINK showing you what the old and the new values are. You can also save a list of that if you want to make a record of you know, what you did on that day or which pieces were being swapped in. So we're going to make just an archive of, of the changes there. And then we'll go ahead and import it. And when we close out, that's when we see uh, all the column, column grid, uh, excuse me, the columns in this case, import. The same concept could be applied to lots of different entities, doors, curtain panels, um, certain kinds of unhosted mechanical things. Um, so hopefully you'll find this new feature valuable. Learn more about ID8 BIMLINK at ID8Software.com.